Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. As you might know I am in the process of designing and building a milling machine. I recently finished the cast XY table that I bought for the project and I am now working on the driveline of the mill. Before I decided on the final concept I considered two other options. The first one being a motor of a router. It is quite powerful with 1200 watts and only cost me 30 euros. But because of the high output RPM I would need a huge gear reduction. Besides that those motors are crazy loud. So I wanted to go a different way. Then I bought a 1100 watt induction motor and started designing a 9 speed gearbox. The motor cost me 80 euros and the gearbox would have cost me around 150 euros to build. I almost finished that design but just before I started ordering parts I came across a much better solution. The downsides of the gearbox design are only having 9 speeds, the complexity as there are a lot of moving parts and the size of the gearbox would mean that it would create a big cavity in the headstock. This decreases rigidity. For the final concept I decided to go with a variable frequency drive or VFD. At first I didn't consider it as I was thinking that it wouldn't really work on single phase motors, which is correct. But the nice thing about a VFD is that it enables one to run a three phase motor on a single phase outlet because of the built in inverter. Although you need to make sure that the VFD offers the possibility of having a single phase input. My VFD came with a control box that has a potentiometer to control the speed and a switch to control the output direction of the motor. I will explain in more detail about the setup and how to put it together in the future, as I think it deserves a separate video. As I am planning to make this mill semi CNC, I can very easily control the RPM with a microcontroller and implement specific functions like ramping, where the spindle keeps increasing and decreasing speed to decrease the vibrations. With this setup I can reach safe speeds of 0 to about 3000 rpm, something that a gearbox cannot compete with. These toys of course come with a higher price. The motor is a, is a 2 pole 750 watts and cost me 120 euros. The VFD cost me 180 euros for a total of 300 euros. I am confident that it will be worth it although it is the biggest expense of this project. 
That's it for this video. Subscribe if you want to see the follow-up video on the VFD and make sure to stay tuned for the milling machine build. I am looking forward to finishing the design and ordering parts and I will keep you updated. If you want, you can leave a comment below or consider liking this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.